This video will cover the basic setup, troubleshooting, and maintenance of the Canon Image Formula CR120, CR150 check scanners. Let's start by opening the document feed eject tray and adjusting the clear plastic eject stopper. Next, press the power button. It will flash slowly and then turn to a solid blue. To turn the power off, press and hold the power button. To print text or bitmap on scanned documents, add an ink cartridge to the imprinter. To set the ink cartridge to print, remove the top cover, flip open the nozzle cleaning unit to reveal the cartridge holder, place the ink cartridge into place, and push it in until it clicks. Next, close the nozzle cleaning unit and replace the top cover. It's important that the checks are placed correctly into the scanner. Make sure the side to be scanned faces the front of the unit. A maximum of 150 items can be loaded at one time. Items can include checks and small papers. Additional documents can be placed in the document feeder while the machine is scanning. To start scanning, carefully align the edges of the documents. Then load them with the front sides facing right and click Start from the software application. If you're using the accompanying scanning utility, there are several methods you can use. To scan one page, click Scan Page from File menu. To scan batch to file, click Scan Batch to File from the File menu. Enter the file name and click Save. Then select Simplex or Duplex and click Start Scanning. Or you can simply start scanning by pressing the Start button on the unit. When scanning plastic cards, use the card guard. Simply attach this to the back of the unit. To scan a plastic card, make sure the front of the card is to the left of the unit. Then place the card into the slot. When the scanner detects the card, release it and use the application program to start scanning. Check the card checkbox. The Canon Image Formula CR120, CR150 models have an optional magnetic swipe reader. Scan cards one at a time by placing the magnetic stripe of the card in the reader and swiping it in the direction of the arrow. Make sure the magnetic stripe on the card faces the sensor, indicated by the logo on the scanner. When scanning thick documents, documents having two or more pages, documents with a rough surface, or duplicate forms with a sticky edge, you must use the scanner in separation off mode. To enable separation off mode, simply press the separation off button, then feed the documents one by one. While the Canon Image Formula CR120, CR150 models were designed for ease of use, some common problems do occur from time to time. In this section, we will go over some of the problems and how you can correct them. If the scanner is not being recognized by the computer, first make sure the scanning utility is installed. You should do so before connecting the scanner to the computer. Next, make sure the scanner is correctly connected to the computer. Also, make sure the scanner is turned on, as it will shut off automatically after four hours of idling. If the computer is still not recognizing the scanner, you can try restarting the computer. If your machine has multiple USB ports, you can also try using a different port. To avoid any cable compatibility problems, always make sure to use the USB cable provided. If you're using a USB hub, it may not be compatible with the scanner. Removing the hub may resolve the issue. Should the problem persist, it is possible that your computer's USB interface is not compatible with the scanner. Contact your local authorized Canon dealer or reseller for more information. To clear paper jams, follow these steps. Press and hold the Start button. If this does not clear the paper jam, Open the right maintenance cover. Open the left maintenance cover. Remove the jammed paper. Next, close the right maintenance cover. You should hear a click. Now, close the left maintenance cover. To help ensure high quality image scanning, regularly clean the unit. Before you start any maintenance procedures, turn off the scanner and computer and disconnect the power cord. To clean the main unit, wipe it with a damp cloth, followed by a dry cloth. 
If dirt appears on the scanned documents, you need to clean the feed path. This should be done regularly to avoid poor scanning quality. To clean the feed path, open the right maintenance cover. Clean any paper dust in the feed path with a dry cloth or cotton swabs. On the opposite side of the unit, open the left maintenance cover. Wipe the feed path with a damp cloth, then wipe dry. Do not use alcohol-based products. Next, close the right maintenance cover, followed by the left maintenance cover. Make sure they click shut. If stripes or dirt appear on scanned images or documents, clean the scanning glass and rollers. Both the glass and rollers should be cleaned regularly. To clean the glass and rollers, remove the top cover and open the right maintenance cover. Open the left maintenance cover. Clean the glass with a dry cloth. Next, remove the roller cover and spin the rollers while wiping them with a damp cloth or cotton swabs. Make sure you clean all 14 roller positions. Several rollers are connected, so you will need to turn them accordingly. After the cleaning is complete, replace the roller cover, close the left maintenance cover, close the right maintenance cover, and carefully replace the top cover. If the magnetic head is dirty, then micro characters cannot be scanned correctly. Periodically, clean the magnetic head. To do so, open the right maintenance cover and clean the magnetic head with a commercially available audio head cleaner. When finished, close the right maintenance cover. Ink that collects around the inkjet nozzles may stain your documents or cause the text or bitmap image to appear scratched. To avoid this, clean the area around the inkjet nozzles periodically. To clean the inkjet nozzles, first remove the top cover. Using the built-in nozzle cleaning unit, remove the ink from around the inkjet nozzles. Make sure you swipe the ink cartridge a few times on the built-in nozzle cleaning pad. Next, set the ink cartridge and replace the top cover. This type of cleaning also helps avoid faint imprints. If, after cleaning, the images still appear faint, it is time to replace the ink cartridge. To replace the ink cartridge, follow these steps. First, remove the top cover. Next, open the nozzle cleaning unit. Push the ink cartridge backward and then remove it. Be careful not to touch the inkjet nozzle right after imprinting, as it may be very hot. Place the new ink cartridge and replace the top cover. When replacing the ink cartridge or when clumpy ink appears on the ink disposal tank, it is time to replace the ink disposal tank. To replace this, open the ink disposal tank pocket, remove the used tank, insert the new one, and close the pocket door. Worn rollers can cause paper jams and double feeds. To replace the rollers, follow these steps. First, open the top cover, then open the right maintenance cover. Next, remove the roller cover and push up the separation off lever in the direction of the arrow. While pushing the separation off lever, pinch the edge of the feed roller and the fixing lever and then remove the roller. Next, remove the separation roller and the pickup roller. To install the new rollers, start with the pickup roller, followed by the separation roller and feeder roller. They should all click into place. Replace the roller cover and adjust the adjustment dial to six. For additional information about your Image Formula CR120, CR150 check scanner, go to www.usa.canon.com slash check hyphen scanners or contact your authorized Canon reseller or dealer.